An Oahu woman is focusing on Honolulu's homeless population, and she's developed a way to reduce some of the challenges of living on the streets. KITV 4's Paul Drews shares her story. Diana Kim knows how powerful photographs like, can be. Oh my, I like that one. My father was a photographer, so I'd grown up in a portrait studio, and I understood the value of taking pictures and allowing it to shine light on issues that people would normally not be able to see. How are you doing? Is it all right if I take your picture? Diana is a UH law school student, but takes a break from her studies for her photography passion and a desire to focus on Honolulu's homeless so others can understand why they're on the streets. Wake up, doggy. Kai, this laid back Chihuahua, is the reason Deddy doesn't go into a shelter, even after being homeless for 13 years. He kind of grew along with me, he's not attached. So that's why I cannot get rid of him. <laughs> Deddy is just one of the many people Diana has photographed for her project, The Homeless Paradise, which aims to share more than just people's pictures, but also their personal stories. It's their living condition. And, and for them to have an opportunity to kind of share that. To control the narrative, too. That's important. I think that's powerful and empowering for them. The project exposed the reach of homelessness by even showing her own father who lived on the streets for years. I think for a long time I was embarrassed. I think a lot of people out there who have loved ones, you know, on the streets, friends, families, in some ways it's, it's embarrassing. And our instinct is to just shut off and to close ourselves because it would be much easier if we could walk away. A heart attack forced her dad to get help and get off the streets and sparked Diana to begin a Kickstarter campaign to raise money for the photo project and for these waterproof bracelets that could contain copies of IDs, important papers, and critical medical information. It would also reduce one of the biggest challenges homeless face on the streets. Ever since I've been out here, I've been losing all my stuff because, you know, like, it's hard to keep your stuff together, and then, even though when you're sleeping and people steal them. Yeah, that's good. You can look at me. Even though time is ticking down for fundraising, Diana remains hopeful she'll reach her goal. Optimism that is shared by those on the streets. There's always hope and there's always faith you gotta have. Diana also has the support of her dad, who still understands the power of a photograph. His first response was, you better finish it. And, and I want to see it when you're done. So I think he's pretty proud of what I'm trying to do. Paul Drews, KITV4 News.